Now, with the gable, you're elevating that flat. That's our flat ceiling. And we want to bring it up and not only bring it up, but change the shape of it. So the vanishing point on our grid is right in the middle. So to bring this up, we start there. Okay, so let's, let's bring this up. Now, you can, how much you bring it up isn't, isn't crucial. But if you want to actually measure it, you can. So if we bring it up at the front first, this line and this line will be able to be measured the very same way. For example, I can just take another scrap of paper and if I want to go up, say, a foot and a half, this line and this line and consequently this line, they're all on the same plane. They're the same distance from the back wall. So what I'm going to do is say, I'm going to go up, I hope I have room, I'm going to go up one and a half feet. So that's one foot and there's one and a half. So at the center, I'm confident that this is one and a half feet. I couldn't have gotten that measurement from anywhere else but one of these walls because they're at the same point on the grid. And then all you have to do is join it up. So that's easy. But there is a tricky part. There's always the tricky part, isn't there? And the tricky part is to get the same thing at the back. Now, to get it at the back, we need something. We need a measurement that we can transfer back. This is not going to help us. That makes a straight line, and it all makes a straight line. So it's not going to help us. So I'm going to pick something that will help. This will help. So I'm going to make a vertical here. Try to keep it as straight as you can. So it's, it's two boxes away. So I can better make a, a decision here. And at the same time I make that vertical, I'm going to follow it down. And it'll go to the vanishing point, so I know I, I can use it. And I'm going to make another vertical right here. And all I need to do now is just bring that point, because this is all about height. I need to bring that height back to the back wall. This, this line is level with the back wall. It's... I can take this and measure up one and a half foot, or this is easier. I can just bring this along like this, and where they meet, that now will give me my gable at the back. I just have to draw through there now. So. Now this on that green line gives me the gable at the back. So my new ceiling now looks like this. The back wall will look like that. And this front part, it now all of these lines should go up. And it will go like this. So that does the same thing as my shading this part in. It's just to show you that that part of the ceiling now. This is my new ceiling.
And it's not just for ceilings. If you ever want to draw even a piece of furniture sometimes, something extending out like that, these methods uh, work the very same way. So that will be our gabled ceiling.